Okay, so example 5.12, find the vector potential of an infinite tunnel solenoid with n turns per unit length, radius r and current i. So as mentioned here, if this is your this is your solenoid. If this is if this is your solenoid. Okay, so we set uh, this direction to be our Z direction and this will be the radius of the solenoid and you have N turns per unit length. So this is turns per unit length. So this, is, this has been discussed in some videos. And then the resulting magnetic field would be equal to uh, mu naught and i, z hat, and then zero. So this is for inside, and this is for the outside. So example 5.12 shows that if you have an infinitely long solenoid, or if you have a solenoid, the magnetic field inside it is constant. And that only depends on the current that you allow this, that you allow to flow in the solenoid and the third in the number of turns per length. And the magnetic field outside is zero. Okay, so that's why this is a good way to store magnetic field. Because if you have a solenoid, the magnetic field outside of the solenoid is zero. Okay? So there is no uh, electromagnetic radiation that will be produced by the solenoid outside of it. Okay? So the end result here is the uh, magnetic vector potential A is given by... Uh, U naught and I over two times R squared over S uh, V hat. So as you will notice that A sorry A is a function of S but along the direction of V. So here we're using cylindrical coordinates, which is what is suggested in the configuration. So now let's check if indeed using this relationship, we will be able to we will be able to get this magnetic field from your magnetic vector potential. Now in cylindrical coordinate system, the curve, the curve of A is given by the following. Just remember that our, uh, co the component of your A is along P, so only the terms with P component will be used and the end result would be along S and along Z. Okay, so what remains is the, uh, will be the following terms. Uh, negative derivative of A, P with respect to Z, S hat plus um, 1 over s times the derivative with respect to s of s e p z hat. Okay? So as you will notice again that a is a function of s. So automatically 
this is cancelled. Right? Because this is derivative with respect to z. So the only thing that will remain is this term. So let's do this evaluation. So let's evaluate this. So this is 1 over s times derivative with respect to s of s times mu naught and i over 2 times r squared over s z hat okay so here s is cancelled and everything is uh sorry Tama ba? Yeah. Okay. So here the magnetic vector for the 1 over s in this case would be r. So this will be equal to this will be equal to r. Okay. Because here s outside this deriv derivative would be equal to R. So this is 1 over R times derivative of mu naught I R squared over 2. Is that correct? Okay, no, sorry. I think we need to, ah, oh, sorry. Uh, sorry, this is just the, okay. Okay, this is only for, as I, I, as I, okay, as I check the example, this is for only for S greater than or equal to R. Ah, yes, tama. So for R greater than equal to R, so you will notice that, sorry, this should remain as S. Sorry about this. So let's make it S. 1 over S. So S will be uh, cancelled with this. So this becomes a constant. So derivative of a constant is 0. So the magnetic field is 0. This is for outside. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, now how about for the inside? For the inside, okay, let me, uh, let me write it here. A, as mentioned here, would be mu naught n i over 2 s p hat. Okay, so the curl of A would be equal to, again, this will be 0. This will be remain the same. So this is 1 over S times derivative with respect to S of S times this one. So this is mu naught n i over 2 S p hat. So from here we can cancel, uh, we cannot cancel anything, but we can take out this constant. So this is one over s times mu naught n i over two times derivative with respect to s of s squared e hat. So this derivative is 2s, right? So this is 2s, and then multiply it with this factor. We end up with mu naught n i p hat. This is your magnetic field, which is what we got earlier. 
Oh, sorry, Z hat. Oh, sorry, this should be Z hat. Okay. Okay, so that ends our solution for this typical uh, example where we just verify that the resulting magnetic vector potential both for inside and this is outside the sphere, outside the solenoid will yield this magnetic 